Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Jeremy Fowler over at ESPN had a report. It was actually a really lengthy piece. It was him and Dan Graziano just going through a lot of things, dealing with the offseason and, and whatnot, you know, moves for a big, long, extensive piece. And at the bottom, it was just the section of like, what else are you hearing? And it was in that section that Jeremy Fowler went to the Mickey Loomis angle. And obviously, Dennis Allen has been ousted as the Saints head coach. We know that. And everyone's been asking and, in some cases, calling for Mickey Loomis to be next. And that's always been an interesting conversation because of you know, Mickey so close to that organization, to Gail Benson, the succession, but all of those things that we know we don't need to rehash. And it's always been like, okay, Mickey's untouchable. So when Jeremy Fowler reports that the Saints are unlikely to move on from Mickey Loomis, it shouldn't come as a surprise. And that is the report, that the Saints are unlikely to move on for Mickey Loomis, meaning it's him that will be hiring the next head coach. It's him that will be responsible for the draft and trying to, uh, to, trying to bring this franchise out of the darkness that it is in, in large part because of moves that he's made. But that's where you are. Now, I am in no way surprised that we, as we just covered this up, that, that Mickey Loomis is likely to return. I will also tell you, I don't think that's in the best interest of the franchise. I think it's time to move on from Mickey Loomis. Not because I think Mickey's a bad guy or anything of that nature. I'm just firmly planted in that camp as well, that the New Orleans Saints should distance themselves from just about everything in the previous era and start anew. You see plenty of teams do it. It's cyclical in the NFL. You kind of have to at some point. And I think the Saints are at that point of have to. Is my confidence shaken in Mickey Loomis? Yeah, it is. That too. And, and I will tell you, that mainly comes from just the stubbornness and defiance and condescension that has been on display in public from Mickey Loomis. In the media. Whether it's him just constantly defending Dennis Allen, even when it was so far past defend, de, de, defensible, the chomping of the gum in the press conference. Anything that you, we, any of the audio that we've played for you from Mickey Loomis really over the last year and some change is enough to shake my confidence in that because I don't want somebody leading my organization that is publicly displaying stubbornness and defiance and constant. I, that's not what I want. That doesn't paint a pretty picture. But where you are is Mickey Loomis will be the guy to, to hire the next coach unless something changes. And again, that shouldn't be a surprise. The Saints are, they admire continuity. They admire relationships. They value all of that stuff so much. And that brings us to the second part of the report from Jeremy Fowler. Not only was he talking Loomis, he talked head coaching candidates that you should look out for for the Saints. And it's a lot of names that you've heard with one thrown in that you haven't. And really, when you look at the Saints, this is the first time you've seen reports from a credible NFL you know, insider like Jeremy Fowler as to names mentioned. The first one is Aaron Glenn. And obviously, that makes a lot of sense. And Aaron Glenn will get a head coaching job in the NFL this year. He's been phenomenal as the defensive coordinator up in Detroit. And yes, the Saints would absolutely absolutely figure in heavy to that spent time in new orleans on staff a long time under sean payton obviously has a relationship with the organization all those things that that you that they value would be a first-time head coach joe brady was another name and i know we've all had the joe brady conversation around here but joe brady was on staff with the new orleans saints it's been a whirlwind of journey from him whether it be at lsu to the first in, uh, as an NFL OC with Carolina, that not working out, taking the quarterback coach job at Buffalo, getting interim OC, and then the permanent OC, and Buffalo's offense has been pretty darn good. Now you have a lot of great players. How would Joe Brady do as a head coach? 
I'm not sure, but it's the young offensive mind that everyone in the NFL is after, that type of guy. Ben Johnson is going to be the name that everybody mentions the most when talking about that. Is he attainable? I don't know. We've all had that conversation too, but Jeremy Fowler did throw out Joe Brady. Would also be a first-time head coach. The last name he threw out was Vance Joseph, the defensive coordinator for the Denver Broncos, who, of course, is from New Orleans, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, went to Shaw. Uh, everyone's kind of familiar with that. So there's the tie there. I will tell you, and again, all very early in the process, right? Just reports, just names to watch from an NFL insider. I will tell you on that list that we just ran through, the name that I unequivocally do not want is Vance Joseph. Because how did we start this whole conversation? We started with saying, you need to distance yourself from anything in the past of the New Orleans Saints. And while Vance Joseph isn't immediately in the past of the New Orleans Saints, like that isn't you know, exclusively him there, the whole idea of that is literally what you just got away from. Vance Joseph spent two years as the head coach in Denver. He went 11-21. and 21. A defensive head coach with a well below 500 record as a head coach. You, that's just what you had in Dennis Allen. You know how tough of a, se- of a sell that would be for Mickey Loomis? In my opinion, that's an impossible sell. And I get it. There were extenuating circumstances. The, the personnel in Denver at that time was awful. You had Paxton Lynch and like Brock Osweiler and all those guys at quarterback. I get it. But the same excuses were made with Oakland and could be made with Oakland when Dennis Allen was there as the head coach. You'd be going into the exact, you'd set yourself up for the exact same thing that you literally just had to get out of. To me, that would be an impossible sell. And out of the three names there, it's the one I am least high on potentially for the Saints ever going down that path. I would rather the Saints hire a first-year head coach than another retread. And if that's Aaron Glenn, okay. As much as I want you to distance yourself from the past, at least that is a breath of fresh air. I don't know if they want to go back-to-back defensive head coaches. I think that's a tough sell. Clint Kubiak could make it an easier one, though, because that definitely seems like a hit for the New Orleans Saints. Now, could another NFL team come and poach him? Sure. Does the new head coach want to retain him? All things you have to, all things you have to look through. Like all things you have to go through and decide and let play out. But as tough of a sell as another defensive head coach coming in, that could make it easier. If I had my way, yeah, I'd go with the young offensive guy too. I don't know if that should be Joe Brady, but You've seen him have good odds for this job, and now you see Jeremy Fowler reporting like, okay, keep an eye on that guy for the New Orleans Saints. And there are ties. And if there's, if you're moving on from the past, you know, step by step, if you're moving on the past like the New Orleans Saints seem to be trying to do, Joe Brady doesn't have a very long history with you, so that does go there. We're early in the process, but just thought I'd throw that out there given that's a guy well-connected in the NFL, Throwing out three names for you. That's kind of where I stand. We'll see. So Mickey Loomis expected to be back. No big surprise there. And there's three names to maybe look at for head coach there in the future of New Orleans. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.